everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the August Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as showing you how to make a floral dice set. If you would like to know some more information about the Sophie and Toffee subscription boxes you can check out the information down in the description box below. So in the August box we received a set of seven dice silicon molds and I really love the new designs of these molds that make it much easier to line up the lid and there's also a hole in the lid to let out any trapped air. We also got some gold acrylic paint, iridescent purple pigment powder, epoxy resin with a 3 to 1 ratio, cloth felt, dice holder box molds, and there were also meant to be eight magnets included, but I didn't seem to get any in my box. So to begin, I'm going to be making the dice holder box. I took the epoxy resin and I poured the two parts out and measured them using a scale. The booklet said that the dice box required 160 grams of liquid. So because it is a three to one ratio, I ended up doing 120 grams of part A and 40 grams of part B. The mixture will start off very cloudy, but as you keep mixing, it will begin to go clear. Also, peep the spider in the background that decided to photobomb my video. Once the resin was mixed together, I then took the two molds and I started off by pouring just plain clear resin into the top part of the box. And then I put it to the side for a moment so that the bubbles could rise to the top. As it was doing its thing, I then went ahead and made the base by mixing some white and pearl pigments into the resin as well as some glitter. I decided to keep the base of the box more of a simple kind of design so that the lid and the floral dice would stand out more. So that's why I went for just a white glittery one. So I poured this resin into the mold and then I set it aside and left it overnight for 24 hours to cure fully. Now it was time to finish off the lid, so I took these dried flowers that I received in the previous Sophie and Toffee Elves box. I decided to also combine that with just some gold leaf and I began placing all the little bits around, mainly the outside part of the lid. I decided that I wanted to go for a floral theme for my dice because here in Australia and the rest of the Southern Hemisphere, it is now the beginning of spring. Once I left the resin to dry overnight, I then demolded the two parts the next day and that's what you can see I'm doing here. Next I used some UV resin to dome the lid and make it nice and shiny. This was kind of a mistake though because the epoxy resin was still a little bit flexible. So the heat from the UV resin curing actually caused the plastic to warp. And as the two layers kind of separated it caused some condensation and a few bubbles that can't escape. So I do recommend if you want to dome yours wait until it is fully cured. Now that the dice box has been made, it's time to move on to making the dice. So I took the individual molds and for this part I'm using UV resin purely for the purpose of this video so that they are faster to cure. But it's really up to you whether you decide to use epoxy or UV resin for this part. So I filled up the dice mold and then I prepared my dried flowers and the gold leaf and I just continued to position them inside the mold with my toothpick and my little pair of tweezers and then I just continued adding the resin until it was up to the top. I then placed on the lid and then cured the resin under my UV lamp and I pretty much continued this process for the other six dice in the set as well. Once the resin is fully cured, you can then go ahead and demold the dice. If you do have any excess bits of resin around the sides, you can just cut them off with some scissors or sand your pieces down using some sandpaper. And lastly, we just need to add some paint to the numbers so that they stand out. So I decided to go with some white acrylic paint because I thought it would match the theme of my dice box better rather than the gold paint included in the box, which I thought may clash with the gold leaf inside each of my dice. I applied the paint in the indents using a small paintbrush and then I wiped away the excess paint with a piece of paper towel. 
and then of course you want to allow your paint some time to dry. So here is what my finished floral die set looks like. I really love the way it came out, super colourful and also pastel looking. This is what the dice look like when you pop them into the dice holder box and then the lid can also go on. If you did have magnets included in your elves box, you can also add them in so that the lid and the base would stay attached. Here you can see the condensation that formed inside of my lid and it just kind of looks a little bit foggy but other than that I'm pretty happy with the way it all turned out and the lid can also be used as a dice tray as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!